Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the first Euro 2020, actually 21 video, which of course will be now the jersey review video. The Euros are less than a week away from us, so I think it's a good time to start with just looking at what the teams will be wearing at this tournament. Most of the jerseys we actually have already seen in uh, World Cup qualifying and you know in the Nations League, but still, let's have a deeper look and I'll give you my thoughts. I may also include some jerseys that have been worn just prior, but for some reason Puma, uh, they are not worn at the Tour Tour tournament, but I think just for completeness sakes because I didn't uh, cover them sooner. As for this video, we start of course with group A. I might not go through the groups in the order like A, B, C, D and so on. Mainly because in group C uh, there are two shaky teams where it's not at this moment not 100% clear what they will be playing in. So um, just saying that other than that I would say we'll get started. I have decided since this is Italy I was thinking shall I choose the team that is not back there on the wall which would be Turkey, but then I decided Italy because the Italy jersey that I have hanging here is right behind me and so a little bit hidden by my chair. So, and since Italy is my favorite team in this group, I decided to go for the Euro 2012 jersey where they were actually successful. And we will start this video with Italy. I will go in these videos mostly by the order that they were in the pot. So we'll start with the pot one team, then two, three, and we end with the pot four team. Italy and that's the home jersey uh, that I have hanging back there is starting with uh, the blue version of the famous Renaissance jersey, more on that a little bit later, uh, which to be honest, when I first saw it, I have to say, I, and I, I heard it when I was reviewing this jersey a few times on, on, on my channel already, I was initially a little bit disappointed because it really looked like just a blue version of the Renaissance jersey. Uh, that was the first glance, but then when you look at it, yes, it's a completely different pattern. It's a floral pattern, but I have to say, this has grown on me a whole lot. Uh, it is a really, really, really well done jersey. And um, I think crafted by culture for Italy, all the jerseys that were made with that theme for, uh, for Italy are winners. This is the best set. I would actually argue uh, in 2020, Italy had probably the best national team set of any team, uh, probably in the last 10 years or so. I, I would go even that far. Uh, the jerseys then by themselves, maybe I have always a few gripes with, especially with this Italy jersey. I really like the pattern, as I said, cultural re uh, reference, and there are not many countries that have as rich of a uh, historical context as Italy actually does. So that is already really, really nice. Um, the new crest that we didn't see at the World Cup is such an improvement over this one here. Uh, I absolutely lo love it. I might have to say, if they got rid of the Italian, made it a little bit short, it might even look better, but I absolutely love, I, this was such an improvement that I knew I had to get one Italy jersey with the new style. Now, my only real bone of contention with this one is navy blue as an accent color, and I've seen this jersey, although the regular con con configuration is white, uh, worn with navy pants. Um, that I'm not so. I actually think an Italy jersey would work best if the sleeve cuffs on, and the collar also in blue. I don't think the white here works uh, all, the, all, the, all the well either, but most importantly, um, get an Italian flag trim. Yes, the sleeves have some little bit Italian flag. It's also on the back, it says, so it's not all that bad. But I have to say the navy blue, yes, they won the World Cup with having navy blue on their jersey, but I have to say that's maybe one thing that I'm not so crazy about. Uh, they use uh, golden lettering style on there in a rather narrow font. I will not uh, call, you know, call, 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 comment on all the fonts that, that, that we have for, for, for the Euros, but where I can find it easy, easily, where I, I will do. Um, maybe the other thing that I'm not really fond of is that the back is just plain blue. Uh, starting from the shoulders to, to, to the back, the jersey looks completely different than on the front, which is maybe some, something they could have been done better. But overall, a uh, really well designed jersey. I think with a few things going back and forth, could have, could have been a little bit improved, but I think it's a really strong start to this. 
Um, I knew that I had to get this jersey together with the other two, uh, which we will also talk and for that eight stars uh, of the bet right there. We start really high. I have to say the original Avengers, which was launched in two th late 2019 and was slated to be worn at Euro, at Euro 2020. I like even better, and at that is uh, despite not having any uh, na navy blue, but also uh, not navy, uh, azure blue, uh, but having navy blue is excellent. But I really have, have, have to say the pattern, yes, my, some may say it looks like a tablecloth. I actually really, really like it. Uh, this is a gorgeous jersey. Uh, this was, I said, uh, this is the best of the bunch. Um, Maybe the four color is maybe the one thing that I that could, could be a little better, but I have to say this, this, this one I, li I liked even better, even though it didn't have any Italian flags uh, here at all. But still, I have to say it's beautiful, nine stars. And then they decided and I made a big rant video about this to replace it with this one. <laughs> Why? 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 Really why? This jersey is just a training top. I cannot say much more. And while I get it, there's an Italian flag in there. I don't even mind the word mark on there. What I really, really, really hate is that the Puma Locat and the Federation Crest are put on the same footing next to each other on, on, on the center, which may well be right. But why do we have this line here? It just looks like nothing. Uh, and then, yeah, the, temp, the template has a few of those lines. I've actually have seen another uh, manufacturer come, come I, I, yeah, I think it was Ulsport came out with that uh, two years ago already. So, I mean, they are copying a little bit there as, as well. It's infamous. It is, I think, I don't want to, it, it's not bad and like this is horrible and this is completely out of any, um, yeah, why do we have it? No, it's white, it's an Italy jersey, it says Italia. It uses the national uh, uh, colors in many ways. It could use azure blue instead of the navy blue, which is what I don't like. But I, I, and that, I mean, the, for that it's not out of source, but it's so unconventional and so downright boring. And especially with the placement of the logos, uh, that I really, it is not one star, but I struggle giving it three, so that's why I stay with two stars. Uh, there is really not much that I can say for, for, for this one. It looks boring, and I hope we don't see it a whole lot during this Tour 2 tournament. And I want to finish with the famous Renaissance jersey, which I also have to say when it came out, Italy in green. <laughs> I didn't get it. Then I got the story. Yes, there was. There's a good reason that Italy is wearing green. It will probably not be worn at the Euros, but I thought I included as because it completes a beautiful set that is marred now by taking out the away jersey and replacing it by that one. Um, if you have it in person, it looks even better than here on the picture. Uh, that I have definitely to say. Also, that I mean. The golden exits also work very well with the green. My only, I think the crest could have used a full Italian flag, I think. Uh, the crest with gold, blue gold, does not look quite right to me. I understand why I use gold. It works very well with the framework of the jersey, but I think you could have risked the national colors on there and it would not have made a worse church, uh, jersey. And uh, the reason being why, why they chose green is because it is a young Italian na na national team and usually it was before that the youth teams for Italy uh, up until the 50s were wearing green and only once you graduated up to the senior team then you were allowed to wear blue and so in reference to that I think it's a, a really interesting and smart move is another one I almost yeah I want to say I I also give this initially I would have, I would have given this a much better grade but this is a jersey that definitely has grow uh, has grown me it is super influential and for that I lift it just above the actual home jer uh, jersey on a level footing with the away away jersey I'm giving this nine stars as well. Moving away from Italy to Switzerland, also crafted by culture, although here I don't see the crafted uh, theme at all. I do not like the Switzerland home jersey. Mainly the dark red shoulders don't make any sense to me. Absolutely none whatsoever. Um, the lines, I, you know, 
I'm not very familiar with Switzerland, but I think I know Switzerland quite well. I have a brother living in Switzerland as well. So, you know, I think I know a little bit about this and I don't see any rhyme or reason what this is. The last one made a whole lot more sense with all the mountain topography on there, which is actually the one Swiss jersey that I thought I went to the, that I would like. But these lines do not make a whole lot of sense to me. Maybe someone can enlighten me more. Uh, but I don't see any cultural significant significance with Swiss Switzerland on there. Put a Matterhorn on, on there. That would be Swiss AF. Uh, the other thing, and I don't know why the Swiss Federation decided to do that. Okay, the Swiss Federation logo, I'm okay. Put, put, put it on the right side. It's not the greatest logo, but I think it is fine. But um, why do we put the Swiss flag on there? Um, you if Swiss Switzerland used a roundel usually with the Swiss crossing, a red roundel with the Swiss crossing there. That would look a whole lot better. Making a, for, for me a square logo cheapens the look of a jersey. That I, I don't know why, but this is always something, something I didn't like. If there's just a square shape, and I know the Switzerland uh, Swiss flag is square, so yeah, it's proper, but it just the roundel looks so cool. It looked really, really nice. Nope. Overall, it's a jersey I am not a big fan of. Four stars. Although it is trying a little bit more, which Swiss teams usually don't. Then the away jersey that is also not, not another warm, Puma. I also didn't get it. I, I mean, I understand what they want to do. I mean, the Four Peaks, yes, Swiss, Swiss and mountainous country. We have a lot of Swiss crosses on there, although it looks like a soldier's graveyard a little bit. Uh, and the four different colors is because of the four official languages uh, of Switzerland. It is being German, French, uh, Italian and Romansh. Uh, the four, the, the latter one are uh, almost dying out, but it's still an official language in Switzerland. Um, so I, as a unity thing, it's all right. To me, the colors are already a little bit doubt, doubtful. Add to it that we have a true color Swiss flag and everything else in this dark red and it looks messy to me and uh, even though I saw it uh, re recently for very very cheap it's not a great look. Switzerland had at the last Euros it's this one here such a wonderful jersey this one nope nope all doesn't do it for me um, too inconsistent too colorful um, not much there four stars again however and when you thought it cannot get worse, <laughs> this one is being released. It's better than the Italy one, for the simple reason that we have the Puma Cat alone here. Uh, and many would probably argue that the Puma logo being bigger than the Swiss flag is already a big no. I said in my rant video, I found it curious that they chose the um, French name, Swiss, instead of uh, Schweiz. Or a uh, Switzera, or, or you know, what, what, uh, I don't know, another Roman version of it. Um, so that was one, maybe because it was the shortest, but I would have expected after we have a jersey that celebrates the four languages that we at least give it a little bit more of an international flair in a way. But okay, Helvetia, I think I would have chosen. The, uh, it, uh, the Latin name. I think this would have been the only proper choice. Uh, but just from from that, the jersey itself, yes, it's the same boring design. There's nothing great about it. I, I think there's a shadow pattern in there with the Swiss cross, which makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, I would argue it is better than the Italy jersey. However, it's not a great jersey. It looks boring AF, three stars. Not more that I wanna say there. Another white jersey and a surprising white jersey is for Turkey, the new Turkey home jersey. And I'm very happy that Turkey went back to the classic look. I know red for many is the Turkey default color. However, uh, historically Turkey has been playing with white jersey with the red chest band with the Turkish flag. And this is such a strong and wonderful look that I'm super happy to have this back. Um, I, that's the one reason why I bought my Turkey uh, away jersey from 2014, which I think is an even better version than this one. However, I really, really like here that uh, the, um, the moon and the star are now centered, which again is the classic look and you have the um, red collar and the red sl uh, sleeves. 
Maybe the one thing that I'm not so happy uh, about this is that the swoosh is very much center stage. Um, with names and numbers, it makes a little bit more sense because where will, will you put the swoosh and all sorts of that If you have this moon so centered, yeah, the swoosh needs to be played somewhere. The numbering set may be a little bit too angular in my, uh, but you know, it kind of fits there, there as well. But this is a really beautiful, beautiful jersey I have to have, I'd say. I don't like it as much as the 2014 one that I have, but it's a really nice one. I'm giving these nine stars, especially since Turkey got back to their traditional home look. The away look uh, takes the same thing, it just takes the white and makes it a slightly darker red. Um, as the home dress, the color, I don't understand the tip on the back, but okay, so be it. It also has the flashes on the side. You don't see it, see it much. It's another nice church, I, thought, I like it in white better. Um, white numbers, of course, look nice there too, but I like the whole jersey in white a little, a little bit better. I think it uh, makes this chest band just pop out more and gives it therefore a strong, a strong look. For that reason, I'm going eight stars here. Which leads us to the last uh, team in, the, in this group, which is Wales, with a new crest, which from what I hear from comments on this channel, um, is not so great because the, it's just a dragon now alone. I have to say the dragon stylized looks really, really cool. Um, initially, I did not dislike this logo. I, th I, I think there have been worse uh, rebrandings done for a national team than what Wales has done, but I take the criticism that I hear uh, from people from the country. Uh, other, other than that, I think that the Wales jersey itself, I mean, you would expect red. Um, and then the flag is the uh, white and green with the red dragon, but uh, Wales has also tradition have always a little bit of yellow in there, there as well, so they try to get everything in there. I think it's a little bit too colorful for my taste. Um, I'm okay with the yellow, but uh, then I think also the crest is a little bit out of place. Maybe some recoloring, maybe give, give the background yellow. Could have done it good because, uh, well, because the crest is really popping too much out in uh, my understanding. Um, also the sleeve cuffs, um, too many colors. I think that uh, it's it's just a tad too much and the overall Adidas Tanta template, I the color I know where this is come coming from and I love it, but it doesn't look quite right there. For that reason, is it a bad jersey? No, but uh, it's not one that really, really excites me either. And for that reason, I'm going uh, more or less down the middle with six stars. Um, at least they gave it a yellow uh, numbering set, which uh, I, th I think complements the look very, very nicely. Uh, the away jersey actually takes the yellow and makes it a proper, prominent color now with green uh, accents. And I do like that. Of course, Adidas templates, and we will see that a lot, have all these, and we saw it already in the club season, have all these, um, you know, brush strokey effects on there. So it is very much templated uh, there um, to give it a little bit more, more structure. I honestly don't care too, too much for, uh, about it. But I have to say, uh, given the template, the color, I really like the v-neck, the way it's done, then with the green stripes up top. I don't know what the red emblem on the back is supposed to be, uh, but then complemented with the green lead lettering makes it a really nice and cohesive jersey. Nothing exciting, but I have to say, I li do like this a tad better than the home, home, home jersey. Um, again, nothing too exciting. Um, so I will also stay with the six stars, but I think overall it, I like it just a bit more than the home jersey. Well, that was it from me for group A. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below which jerseys you like, which ones you dislike, where you agree and where you disagree with me. I have to say this is with two Puma teams are already a pretty contentious group. So um, yeah, I can imagine what's happening. In any case, stay tuned for more Jersey review videos. I'm gonna do now one every day and I will talk to you soon with that. Bye. Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated with everything that happens in my Sofa universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.